Hey guys, welcome back to Brianna's Rose. Like always, my name is Brianna, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, if you couldn't tell, my pin board behind me is looking a little bare. That's because I went ahead and took off all of my Disney couple pins because I am going to be showing them in this video. Um, so if you do end up liking this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you do want to see more Disney related content that I post in the future, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. My collection is definitely small. It's a work in progress, but I just thought it would be cool to go ahead and just share these pins with you guys. So the first category seems only fitting. It is going to be my Beauty and the Beast, um, Belle and the Beast pins. Uh, that's my favorite movie. My favorite character is Belle, and I just love like Belle and the Beast. They're kind of the ones who started my whole like couple, me wanting to like look for a couple pins. So I actually only have four pins right now that have Belle and the Beast together. Two of them I got from the parks. One is a fantasy pin, which if you're not familiar with that, it means that it's not a Disney um, official like licensed pin. Somebody actually made this pin themselves. Um, and then the fourth one is from Box Lunch. So first, let me go ahead and show you guys the ones I got from the park. Uh, it is this ornament Christmas pin from 2020. Um, it's from the Disney Grand Floridian Hotel, which if you watch my vlogs, you know that they have um, the Enchanted Rose. That's basically like a bar that's based off of the Beauty and the Beast movie, which is like my favorite bar. Um, so it's only fitting that I guess they have their theme for the ornament be like Beauty and the Beast. So basically this pin, it's so cute. It has Belle and the Beast. And they are in like a gingerbread house or like in a gingerbread form. And it is just adorable, so cute. I actually, during Christmas time, I actually did have this like hanging on the tree because it does also function as uh, like an ornament, an actual ornament. So I just thought this was like super unique and cool and love it. Okay, so for the other ones, I have them all displayed here. So I'm just gonna give a quick little description of where they're from. Um, so this one right here is from the park. So cute. They actually also have other like Disney characters that are in like the same format. I think they had, I saw like a Lady and the Tramp one. Um, maybe there was like a Wally and Eve one if I remember correctly, but they do have other characters like that. The second one is going to be that fantasy pin that I was talking about, which I just love. Um, I'll do a better shot of it, but basically it is Belle and the Beast with masks on. And it says, keep a social distance. I got this from Etsy. I'll go ahead and, I don't remember the page that I got it from, but I'll go ahead and link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. Ooh, this one fell. Um, but I just thought it was so cute. I actually bought this one um, twice. I lost the first one. I have no idea why it was moving, it just like disappeared. And I loved it so much, so I went ahead and just like, purchased another one. Um, well, actually my mom bought me the second one because she felt bad that I lost the first one, but thanks mom. Hopefully you're watching this. And then this final one is from Box Lunch. And I just love it. It is Belle and the Beast inside of, I guess that container that held the Enchanted Rose. And I guess they're dancing and they just look, look so cute and like in love. And yeah, I just love this one. When I saw it on the website, I was like, okay, I have to have that. And literally the day after I ordered it online, uh, it like disappeared. So I'm not sure if it's still on the website, but I'll go ahead and um, if I do see it on, I'll link it down below as well. Okay, so continuing on with like the princess uh, theme, I guess you could say, uh, these are my princess uh, Disney couple pins. Well, they're not, okay. I don't know if they're all considered princesses, but let me go and just show them to you guys. So the first one, this is all of them. And that's why I said, I don't know if they're all considered princesses because I don't think Meg is technically a princess, but whatever. So this first one is Cinderella and the Prince. I got that from a mystery um, ink and paint um, a mystery box. So that was fun. And mind you, if you have been watching my videos from the beginning, um, Cinderella was not always my favorite, but as I'm recording this today, I can say that she actually, she's up there for me now. I, I like her. I think she's, I think she made something out of herself that, you know, I respect that. And yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have that Cinderella and Prince Charming. Next is Rapunzel. And I love that Flynn is like wrapped instead of her hair. If you watched my, I think two videos ago, I actually opened this from, um, my Mickey Loop box, but I do believe this is just like a parks like exclusive pin, but I got it through Mickey Loop. 
which is super cool. And then my next two are Hercules themed. Uh, this one's from Shop Disney. I just thought it was so cute. That was actually a fun little story. Um, when I went to Disney for basically the first time, I've been there when I was like younger, but where my Disney obsession started from was after this like first trip. So I got like, I think like one pin on the trip. And then when I came back, I kind of like went on YouTube and I saw that like pin thing, like pin, collecting pins was like a thing. Um, so then I went to the Disney store and I saw this pin. And this was basically like the first pin that really like started my pin collecting. So love that. And then this last one is also Hercules and Meg. And that's actually from Box Lunch as well. I believe this one still is on the website because I have seen it um, last time I checked. So if it is, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But yeah, I actually got this one and that Belle and Beast one together. It was like, they usually always have like some type of sale going on. So it was buy one, get the second 50% off. So yeah, I got a good deal on that. But yeah, so those are my, I guess, princess couples, even though they're not all princesses, but. Okay, so this thanks category is probably, um, even though, like I said, um, Beast and the Belt are my favorite, but even I would say that this next dynamic duo really is like the picture perfect like Disney couple. Um, this category is Mickey and Minnie. And uh, this is actually the one that I have the most pins of. Um, I don't know, I'm just like, I just love them. So uh, to start off, I have them all here. Um, if you watched, like I said, my last, two videos it was um when i opened up my mickey loop box and i actually got these first two pins from there so we have this 2021 new year's mickey and minnie pin which is just so adorable and then i also opened up this norway it's like an epcot pin and it has mickey and minnie riding on a ski lift i couldn't remember the word last time but somebody told me in the comments that it was a ski lift so <laughs> a ski lift which is so cute love to see the happy couple vacationing um the next pin is going to be from the new ride um it's called mickey and minnie's runaway railway in hollywood studios i love that ride um it is like so much fun it's like a trackless ride so you basically just like move all over the place but I rode the ride and then I just thought they were like adorable in it and that's why I got that pin. And I just got that um, literally right when we got off of the ride, they had like a little booth that had like a bunch of like ride inspired like um, souvenirs. So I grabbed it in there. Um, my next set of pins, they're actually two separate pins, but they came together and it is from Mickey and Minnie during Valentine's Day. So, so cute. Um, and then the one all the way in the corner, my boyfriend actually got it for me from the Disney parks. It says, my happy place is with you. And it's Mickey and Minnie um, looking at, um, in front of the castle, looking at like the fireworks show, which I've actually never actually like seen the fireworks show because when I went to Disney, um, it was last year. And of course, because of everything going on, they like paused the fireworks shows. So hopefully, you know, one day I'll be able to experience that. Um, and then my last two, I actually got from my first Disney trip. They're just like generic like park um, pins, but they're just like so adorable. We have Mickey and Minnie just strolling down the street. And then I love this one. I feel like it just like really shows like how much Minnie loves Mickey. So yeah, those are all my Mickey and Minnie pins. Okay, and last but not least, I kind of just have like my miscellaneous like Disney couples. Um, so the first one I got from, well, let me go ahead and just show them to you guys first. So the first one here I got from Hot Topic and it is from Bugs Life. So it's Finn, I believe his name is. And honestly, I'm not really remembering what the girl's name is. Um, but I recently rewatched that movie, maybe like a month ago and not so recent where I would know her name, but, um, I just thought it was such a cute movie. And when I saw that pin, I was like, okay, that's different. I don't really see a lot of merchandise with, um, you know, them on it. So I thought that was cool. I wanted to grab that. Um, the next one I got in the Valentine's day mystery box. It is from up. The next two are actually from up. Um, but this one I got from the mystery pin box and I actually opened this up before I actually watched the movie and then by opening up the pin it inspired me to watch the movie and I feel like that movie is like literally like just like the the cutest movie ever and like the the movie that 
kind of just like shows love in like the best way and it's just I just it's so real but a, a true love really just that movie just I cried that movie just made me feel like true love is a real thing and you know I don't know if you haven't watched it watch it I don't even know how to put it into words but on the pin it says you are my greatest adventure and I just thought that was so cute the next one like I said is still from up and it is when they're getting married, which I just saw it and I was like, hey, I, I got this on my last Disney trip. I was like, I collect a couple pins. This is like, I need this one. <laughs> um, next one is Lady and the Tram, which I actually, during Valentine's Day, I kind of did like a little Lady and the Tramp inspired um, like dinner for me and my boyfriend. So I made a video for TikTok. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out, I will link it down below. But yeah, I just love this pin and like how Lady is looking at Tram. So I just thought that was a super cool pin to have. And he's just like, I love how she's looking at him and I love how he just looks like so happy to see her. <laughs> okay, so the next two pins are actually also from that mystery Valentine's Day box that I got the other up pin from. I do, I do have a video opening that, so you might have already seen these, but if not, um, I have Wally and Eve, and it says, you're stellar, which when I first opened it, I was kind of like not excited. It wasn't one of like the top ones that I wanted, but then when I kept looking at it, I was like, wait, this is actually like super cute. So they're like a fun little couple. I don't think I would ever necessarily purchase a Wally and Eve or Eva pin, but it was cool that I got it this way so, because now I have like an extra like couple that I wouldn't necessarily buy. Um, and then finally I have, it is, um, oh my God, what's his name? Buzz and Jesse. And the pin says to infinity and beyond. And I just think it's so cute. I actually love how in the movie they paired Buzz and Jesse together. Cause I just feel like that wasn't like what you would have like expected. Like obviously you would have expected like Jesse and Woody because they're both cowboys. And I just thought it was like cool. I have always thought that was just cool that they ended up like doing that. <laughs> but yeah, so those are all like my miscellaneous couple pins. Um, now that I'm actually showing my pins, I feel like I have way more than what I thought, but I definitely want to like have enough so I can have like my own pin board just directly for couple pins or Disney couple pins. Like I said, I have a couple other pins that are just like, I have like some Beauty and the Beast ones, um, some just like random other ones. I know Disney pins is not everyone's like cup of tea, but I do know there's some of you out there that do enjoy them just as much as I do. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And like I said earlier, if you do want to see more Disney related content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great day, a magical week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.